Hello and welcome to another JustBlueMe.com video. In this video I'll be showing you how to use airbrushed graphics and also vinyls and decals etc. But I just want to start off the tutorial by showing you one of my latest cards. This is the image before and I've managed to um, draw my own body kit which I'm pretty proud of and my alloys which is which I've done for the first time. So anyway get on with the tutorial. First thing you're going to want to do to add on airbrushed graphics is find yourself an image. And in this tutorial, I've gone for this picture of a dragon. So you want to con you want to copy the image, right-click copy, and then Control V to paste it in. And then you'll get a floating selection here. And what you want to do with that is name it whatever you want so I've named it sticker then the next thing you want to do is scale the image down a bit I'm going to go for putting this image on the side of the car around about there now at the minute the perspective is not right with the car so we need to use this tool here to perspective the image like so and the same with apply if you was putting the image on the bonnet or anywhere else on the car and then click transform and that will perspective it a bit better ok and then I'm going to use the scale tool again just to make make it a bit smaller about like that Gonna have the dragon's wing sort of coming onto the white to the arch at the back. Now the next thing you need to do is use make sure you're on your sticker layer or whatever you've called it, and then use this mode here. So scroll through here and select one that looks like the graphics been airbrushed or as best match as you can. So in this example, I'm gonna go for a hard light and then I'm going to turn the opacity down like so and then don't worry about it too much because you can adjust this later but the next thing you need to do is use the pen tool here to create paths with and you want to select the area that you want to keep all, the, all of the area you want to keep because we're going to get rid of these parts here that go on the outside of the car because obviously we don't want them. I'm going to do this really quickly and miss loads of lines. Obviously, you would spend some time doing it. And this will probably take some time to do. I'm going to go up to about here. Okay. And then you want to push Shift V, and that selects the area, and push Control I. This inverses the selected area. Okay. And then push Delete on your keyboard, making sure you're on the sticker layer, and this will get rid of all the excess area. Then do a Control C, a Control V, and then delete the pasted layer here. Okay, and that leaves you with the part you want. Okay. Next, we can see we've got some hard edges and so on. So what we need to do is use this smudge tool here to smudge out. Make sure on the sticker layer again. Like so. Gives it a bit better effect. And you do this for the whole the sticker. And it also all depends on what sort of look you want the car to have. I wouldn't really put a dragon on the side of a car, but just for the tutorial. Okay, doesn't look too bad. And that's basically how you do airbrush graphics. And you can still adjust the opacity really faint. 
it's up to you. And also don't forget you can play with the mode here. And you can pull the graphic in. And so on. So that's how you do an airbrush graphic. Okay, and that's the first part of the tutorial. Okay, in the second part I'm going to show you how to put pickles or whatever you want to call them. Little tuning stickers onto the car. So the first thing I always do is go over to a really good website which is stickerland.nl and there's loads of tuning stickers on there ok and then it's at the bottom there's tuning stickers ok and you want to select one of these so I'll go for this one here and you want to right click copy the image and then paste it and I'll call it decal then you want to use your scale tool again as we did with the airbrushed graphic and scale it exactly how you use it remember it's your car so it's up to you and click scale And then I might want to use the perspective if necessary, maybe just a little bit. In some cases I might need to use it more. For example if I wanted it on the bonnet I'd need to pull it down. And then to get rid of all this white area what we're going to do is use the mode layer again in the layers dialog and multiply gives us a black colour decal and divide gives us a white you can put some variety of things here so I'm going to go for multiply and I'm going to pull the opacity down and move the decal here like so and I'm going to use the perspective and pull it up a bit just a little bit this like that see how that looks doesn't look too bad again still needs some work but it's okay and that's basically how you get get rid of this circle thing here Oop. yeah and that's how you add a a decal Okay, uh, another, I'll give you another quick example for if you wanted to put it on the bonnet. Take this fusion sticker, copy the image, paste it, which is Control V, decal, scale it, about like that. And then I will scale it a bit more. can also use the rotate if you need to which I might use in a minute yeah rotate it a bit which is that tool there and perspective get the layer mode right it right maybe play with this a bit more and so on this gives you the idea anyway and then also as another tip you might have lighting hitting the car so if you have this sticker here for example you can see there's a white light here so you might want to 
make it more realistic and use the path tool to crop the area thicker control V select from path and go colors contrast and brightness and turn up the brightness of the sticker here because that will give you a more realistic look like so obviously this isn't done right but that's how it works anyway anyway that gives you an idea of adding stickers and decals and airbrushing etc obviously that fusion needs some work on <laughs> but anyway this has been a justbloomit.com video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check out my website